everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today we are going to be playing with some single shadows. I'm filming this intro on a different day when I filmed that video, so I sound if I sound a bit nasally to you today, that's because I've co I'm coming over a cold that I had all week, but I still had to film an intro for this video because I didn't have one yet, so we're just rolling with it. I won't sound this badly in the rest of the video, so don't worry about that. Um, so with that being said, we're going to be playing with single shadows in this video. I had a couple of palettes already that had some single pans in them that I wanted to rearrange or reorganize, so we'll be doing that. But I also bought some new stuff from Colourpop and indie brand Sydney Grace. I've heard great things about Sydney Grace and I can't wait to play around with these. I just want to make sure that I organize them very well first. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video, so there's quite a bit here. We're first going through some old stuff, and then we're moving on to the new stuff. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get to it. So let's play with some single shadows. I've got everything pretty much laid out here for you that I want to play around with today. I have a bunch of new singles to try and play with, but I also want to reorganize some of the singles I already have. So that's what we will be doing. Uh, I have a couple of new empty palettes. So I've got a new Inglot palette to put all of my Inglot shadows in. I've got a new extra large Z palette that I want to put my MAC shadows in. And then I have an empty ColourPop palette that came with the order that I want to put my ColourPop uh, eyeshadows in. So these are my other ColourPops. And I'm not sure yet whether I sort of want to mix them up, but for now I think I'll just put the new ones in this palette and then I can always sort of like move them around and uh, put these together with the ones I bought um, uh, this time around to sort of make one palette. I've got some more like smaller Inglot ones here. Together all 20 of these shades should fit into this new Flexi palette that I bought, so we'll see. And um, then we'll just play with some new Sydney Grace as well. So. There we go. So I've cleared the decks a little bit and I'm going to be taking all of my MAC shadows out of this really big, bulky MAC palette first. It's really heavy and I figured that I would just have to put it in a palette like this because this way I will be able to see everything in one go. And in this palette I have a couple of spare MAC shadows down here that no longer fit into this palette. So I want to put these in with the rest because this, according to the Z palette description, should fit 35 MAC eyeshadows. So that's what we're going to be trying and play around with right now. But I got everything out. Yay! Um, there were a couple that were difficult to pull. Um, so let me now just take these two out so that I have all of my MAC shadows there. And I think I want to pull in this one too. But this is a Makeup Forever eyeshadow that I salvaged from a palette. And I love that shadow. And I think it goes quite nicely with some of the greens here. But maybe I'll pull it in with this palette later on. I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to set that aside. But this aside, because we'll come back to that later. This can now go. And I'm going to reorganize the shadows in here. Right, so this is what the palette looks like right now. I'm quite happy with this, I have to say. Um, I would definitely be able to pull in two more. Um, so we have all of the light, sort of like highlightery kind of shades at the top. Then I've got like my mid-tone shades at the bottom. I definitely changed around some of the pairings that I just made. And then I've got all of my like mattes, transitions and all that in the middle. And then I've got like my purpley, reddish, darker brown shades. And then I've got some corals and some greens, teals at the bottom. I think that that will work quite nicely. So now I have a reorganized MAC palette. So I quite like that. If you're curious to know what uh, shades are in here, then I will make sure to link you to one of my uh, last MAC uh, blog posts that I did where I sort of talk about every single shade that's in here. So don't forget that this is a Makeup Forever one. Everything else is MAC. Next up is Inglot, and I uh, heard, read online that you should be able to fit 20 eyeshadows from Inglot into one of their Flexi palettes. Um, and yeah, so the main tri tricky part right now is to try and pull these out. However, I do know that you can use the magnet from the palette to pull out the shadow. I already tried it before, and for some shadows it worked. 
So let's see if we can take all of these out. So I'll be right back. Right, so I got them all out. It uh, took a while. Uh, I found that with the newer palette that I had, because I bought these palettes in three goes. That's why it's in three palettes. And I found that the last one that I bought, I was able to use the magnet from the lid to pull them out. For the older ones that didn't work, I had to shake them out like you wouldn't believe it. That these are all still alive and they haven't cracked is quite surprising to me. So let me put the empty ones to the side. And then we can start transferring everything into this very sleek white palette. So we'll see. Right, so I'm afraid that by the time I put everything into this palette, I will not be able to uh, take it out. So I decided to make the um, layout here. I think I'm quite satisfied if it looks like this. Got some grays, some browns, got my neutrals, and then all of my colorful shades. So let's just stick them in here. All right, so that is one new Inglot palette. I'm very happy. This uh, ma hopefully makes me reach for these a lot more. I love Inglot eyeshadow, but because it was like spread out over three different palettes, I just didn't reach for these enough. But now I have everything nicely curated in one spot and it will save a bit of space in my makeup collection. Again, I have a full blog post on all of the shades that are in here, which I will link in the description box. Of course, that will be in the old format with the little palettes that I had, but I do have an overview and swatches of all of these shades already up. So. Let's move on to the next palette. So the next palette I wanna build is ColourPop. So ColourPop had this huge deal on their website that if you bought 24 eyeshadow uh, shadows plus the palette, it was only $44, so that was good because when I decided to get some ColourPop for the first time and put them in my Z palette, I paid all of these at full, like I, I bought all of these at full price, so it was like over 100 euros. Of course, there's a few more that you can fit into a Z palette. Then into the little ColourPop palette, this feet, uh, fits 24 of them. So you can just like go on through their website and then you can sh choose some um, which ones you like. And I definitely got some shades that would look nice with the shades that I have in here. But we are going to be playing with this palette and putting some shades in here. So let me put this to the side. The first group that I have here for you is a group of, um, well, brighter, corally, yellow shades. Um, ColourPop changes up their line all the time, of course. So um, some of these were new, some of these are older. I definitely uh, made a bit of a mix from their newer line, as well as their older shadows that I didn't have yet. This is called uh, Heavy Glam, Take Flight. So that would be the lightest one here. So I think the way I'd like to put this in here for now anyways, is like that. That's my first little column. Um, then again, uh, something with a little bit more brightness to it. Um, this also has some bright shades and something that's a little bit darker. Is this the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. So here we have some pinks and some reds. This would be making moves, which is like a pinky. Might actually go nicely with that row, but we'll see. And then we have this super bright pink. This is sandbar. This is a really nice bright matte. This is called hop on. And then we have cute alert. I feel that this could work as a neutral with the other palette as well. So I try to keep that in mind too. So the next group of four is all blues and yeah, well blues really. Uh, I believe that apart from one, these are all from their new lineup. I think the one that is not new is this one. Uh, this is Beam Me Up. That is that. This is Heavenly. This is from the new line. Very similar to Beam Me Up, but it has more of like a greenish blue shift to it. So it's definitely a different shade. And then I have Antimatter. I think it may have a bit of a black base to it. So we'll see how it goes. And then the other blue I have is Quantum Sleep. So those are those blues right there. Move on to some purples, um, because I also got some purples here. Again, a couple of mattes, a couple of shimmers, and I believe these are all from the new line. Uh, this is Paradiso. That can go in there too. This is Neutrino. It has like a bit of a blue shift to it, so I like that too. This is Try Me, which is a nice bright matte purple. And then we have Sleeper. Some more colorful shades, greens and teals. That's what's up next. So 
You've got some more of those. This is one that isn't new. This is Sideline. Maybe I should, well, a new one is Wishful Winking. Nice dark, like foresty green shade. And I have Conjure Up. This looks a bit more green than teal to me, but it's definitely more of like a forest green perhaps. And then last but not least, this was supposed to be a shimmering teal. And this is super zoomed. So we'll put these here. And then last but not least, and maybe this should be the first column in this palette. So maybe I should push them all a little bit this way. Because uh, these are all of like yeah, the shimmers, you could say. So ColourPop came out with some stunning shimmers. At least they look stunning on the website. I, of course, haven't tried them yet. Um, this is on a whimsy and it's like a silver. Um, so let's put that there. This is like, I think, supposed to be like more of like a taupey shade. It's got some pink, a bit of a silver shift to it. This is Mr. Sandman. Sorry if the camera has shifted a little bit because I just found out that my camera had cut out without my knowing, but you didn't miss much because there was only these two shades left to unwrap. This is Earthshine and this is like a pinky, like purpley color as well. And Misty is like a, again, like a pinky coppery shade. It's really pretty too. And I also took the liberty of shuffling some things around because I think it will look nicer if the purples go in the, like in the, on this side so that the blues and the greens are a little bit more together. So I think I'm just going to put it into the palette like this. So let's do that right now. Those are my new ColourPop ones. And then we have one more palette to go. So this palette I once got free as a gift with purchase from this online website. This is Boozy Shop Cosmetics. This is a Dutch website, but I think you can also just buy this from Morphe and other places. And I placed some orders already previously for some Anastasia, which are the ones here at the bottom, and for some Colored Rain, and these are all Nabla. And I really wanted to have some of these shadows to try. I definitely want to try some more singles this year. And I've been really wanting and lusting after a purple and blue and green. I think you can already see the theme here, uh, sort of eyeshadow palette. Those are the colors I like to wear the most. I already have a lot of neutrals and other palettes. So when it comes to singles, I also just want to go with a lot of colors. Um, this is an old Catrice shadow, so let me take that out. I'm not sure if I'm going to have space for this anymore. When I bought all of these, I thought that I would be able to fit in quite a few of the Sydney Grace um, eyeshadows too, but I only just got some of these Nabla shades in and I hadn't put them next to a MAC shadow before. As you can see, the Nabla ones are quite a bit bigger, uh, but they did give me this when I placed my order. I got this little six pan palette. Uh, for Nabla shadows free with my purchase. So I think I'm going to take some of these like more neutral shades at the top, move those out, put them in this palette and put all of these colorful shades in here if it fits. I'm going to have to give this a little switch around once I get all of the Sydney Grace ones out because I think I may also have a couple of neutral ones by Sydney Grace that might fit into here, but we'll see. Um, so we're going to have to somehow fit 16 different eyeshadows into this palette as well. So for now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to have a look at some Sydney Grace shadows. So I got again mostly greens, blues and then a couple of like duochromy shades that are a bit more like in between certain shades you could say. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is before I unwrap it because I can't read the shade of the back of the packaging, but I wanted to show you how stunning everything was wrapped. It was wrapped very, very well. I don't think anything here is broken. So props to Sydney Grace. I've never tried them before. So this is also the first time me seeing everything up close. I've just heard great things about their shadows. Uh, this would be Green Mist, which is like a greeny duochrome shade. This is called Marine Waters. Very nice. I think it's actually quite similar to this one by Colored Rain, it's a bit darker. This is Malibu by Colored Rain. This is Turtle Bay. This is a shade I really wanted to have. If I wear sort of like a gold, I like it if it has a lot of green to it. This is called Levy. And I've got some more that sort of fit into that color family here. Siren Call. That's this matte darker green. So these are very similar. 
but of course a darker and a lighter shade. I think that goes nicely and I don't have too many matte greets, greens in this palette otherwise. And then this is a really, really cool shade, I think. This is Starfish. And it's like a really dark green with a lot of sparkle. Then we've got some purples here too. This is Awake. Let's put the purples over here. Um, this next one is Pandora, which is a really, really stunning, like also brighter pinky or purple uh, shimmer shade. And then the last one that I have here is called Deliverer. It sort of fits right in between those two. It's a bit brighter. And I think it will also go nicely with some of the purples that I have here. Our next grouping are blues. Um, I have a really nice bright blue here. This is called Fierce. Isn't that stunning? It does look quite similar again to this color Rain one. This is Blue Magic. As you can see, Blue Magic is darker. And then this next one is like a matte teal. This is Thrilled. Then we have Abyss. And it's like a nice dark, like navy. Again, I don't really have anything navy in here. This is called Dive. And this is like a blue green with a lot of gold to it. Here we have a couple of other like duochrome reddish tone shades, you could say. Red Chameleon indeed. This is like a brownish reddish shade with like a green bluish shift. It looked really stunning in the swatches I found online. This is another duochrome I believe. This is Winter Garden and this is like a yeah, pinky purpley shade with a bit of blue to it. This last one and I thought that this was perhaps a bit more of a neutral. This is Tattletail and this was described as a burgundy so it doesn't really go with anything else that I bought but I just thought that that was a nice shade to try out. So I've moved my color rain shadows to the side and I think that this way it's going to fit, so let's see if it does. So this way I think it can fit quite nicely, but I'm definitely going to have to give it a reshuffle so that the color scheme in here so that the purples are with the purples and the blues are with the blues and the greens are with the greens. So I'll do that off camera. So I hope you liked watching me play around with some uh, blue shadows and sort of like rejigging some of my um, singles that I have here for you um, because I just thought it was fun to film all of this and to sort of figure it out together. Let me know if you have any tips on how to organize my shadows a bit more. Um, what would you put together and all that. I would love to know. Please leave a comment down below. If you liked watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it if you could do that for me because it helps getting my videos out there. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, I make three new videos every single week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 5 a.m. Central European time. So please subscribe if you don't want to miss anything else that I do here. And for now, I would like to thank you very much for watching. Have a very, very great day. Bye.